Let's go. And we will see. Hello, we are midweek today being Wednesday, the 11th day of October 2023 and this is your life boy today. Your life boy today comes with a message that brings repentance. That's our topic, message that brings repentance. And actually, that's about the message that Jonah preached to the people of Nineveh. So, we'll be taking our reading from the book of Jonah. We've been there since Monday, and we are still there today. We were there yesterday. So today, we will be in the third chapter of the book of Jonah. Even if you're set, let's go very quickly now. Then the word of the Lord came to Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh that great city and proclaim to it the message that I tell you. So Jonah arose and went to Nineveh according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceedingly great city, three days journey in breadth, and Jonah began to go into the city going a day's journey. And he cried, Yet forty days and Nineveh shall be overthrown. And the people of Nineveh believed God. They proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them to the least of them. Then tidings reached the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, removed his robe, and covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in ashes, and he made proclamation and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything. Let them not feed or drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth, and let them cry mightily to God. Yeah, let everyone turn from his evil way and from violence which is in his hands. Who knows? God may yet repent and turn from his fierce anger so that we perish not. When God saw that what they did, how they turned from their evil way, God repented of the evil which he had said he would do to them and he did not do it. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This topic, message that brings repentance, I could also give it another name. I could just title it God of a Second Chance. Not only did God give Jonah a second chance to still go ahead and answer the call that he gave him originally, he also gave Nineveh City itself a second chance to survive and not be destroyed. But that was because Jonah brought a message that brings repentance. That message that brings repentance is all about telling people that they needed to turn from their evil ways because if they did not turn from their evil ways, evil would come upon them. And the world has not changed. God has not changed till today. By the time God was sending Jonah on this mission, this was probably about 860 BC. 
So you can add 860 to 2023 and find out that's about 3,000 years ago that this thing happened, that this story happened that we are reading. And yet, it is still the same God that is a God of many more chances, but he would want you to repent so that let messages of repentance go out to the people from preachers, from pastors, from the bishops, from church leaders, from evangelists, from all of us as Christians. Let messages of repentance go out so that people can change from their evil ways and then our land can be redeemed. And when I talk of our land, I'm talking globally first, but I also need to remember that I am from Nigeria. I live in Nigeria. I'm preaching from Nigeria. And Nigeria is in a state of decadence right now that we need the message that brings repentance that will change people from their evil ways of changing figures of elections that will change people from buying and selling votes. And this one goes across so many people. We need to repent. All of you that have been selling your votes and all of you politicians that have been buying votes, a message that brings repentance comes today. We need to stop it. Otherwise, we will be in more troubles than we are in right now. Let this message go out, circulate it everywhere. Perhaps if there are many more messages that bring repentance, there will be those people that will repent from banditry. There will be those people that will repent from kidnapping others. There will be those people that will repent from stealing the collective patrimony of the people. There will be those people that will repent from land grabbing. There will be those people that will repent from so many evil things that are happening all around us right now. Let messages of repentance go out. A message that brings repentance coming from you each day is likely to have an impact on people. The way the message of Jonah had an impact of, on Nineveh, 860 BC, your own message, 2023 AD, can also change certain situations, change lives, change attitudes, and change the lot of the people. And I hope that God will let this word minister so much in your heart that your message today, from today, will be a message that brings repentance. And this is my message. I wanted to bring repentance to the glory of God and by His grace to some people who are not yet in Christ so that you can repent and join the army of Christ today. You are not yet a Christian, but you want to give your life right now. This is a great opportunity for you. Just say this prayer. Say, Lord, I come to you right now in repentance. I have been a sinner. I have not acknowledged all along that you died and shed your blood, Lord Jesus, that I may be free, that I may live. Now I confess that right now. I truly believe that henceforth as one of yours, as I accept you as Lord and Savior from today, I pray through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Did you just say that prayer? Then, welcome to the fold of Christ. You need to find a Bible-believing church where you can grow in the faith. Join us in the Anglican Church of Rukia State Extension. We worship for now in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches, Middle and High Schools, Onyikon and Gokyomibod Drive, Rukia State Extension, Oshobo. You can join us every Tuesday, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, or every Sunday, 9 o'clock in the morning. But from next Sunday, you can in fact actually join us for our Sunday Bible study as part of our worship session every Sunday, 9 o'clock. We will be on Zoom. You can join us by Zoom. Join our Bible study and the Lord will bless you as you join us. I'm sure you can see some bank account details on the screen right now. Do something that will give us the grace to more quickly build that sanctuary, that physical space where we can preach messages that will bring repentance upon the people. But importantly, as you go out today, say this prayer. Say, Dear Lord, give your people the heart of repentance, and that will include myself, as you did for Nineveh, 860 something years BC. That is the prayer that I bring to you today 
2023 AD. And I pray that you grant it through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Go out today. And when you go, go out with a message that brings repentance so that many more people can be brought to do the will of the Lord the more. And as you do that, God bless you. Christ is the